done since 2012, we've done 115,000 meals, which has been amazing. Our main goal was to just show some love to the community and fulfilling some, some needs they have, some uh, physical needs that they had. So when the people have stood on the other side of that door and in tears, and I lean over and I said, I've been there. It's been an absolute blessing, an amazing opportunity to reach out to the community, to get to know people. I think one of the shortcomings we have though is we don't have a ton of time to interact with people to really invest in their lives. A lot of the kids that come to the House of Hope now are single parent kids, so kids are kind of left to their own devices. So we're really hoping to have a safe place for kids to come and just be kids and, and be shown the love of Christ and to see this something bigger and better than this world. So in March of 2022, we're going to be breaking ground on the 210 Youth Center. It's going to be a 30,000 square foot facility. It'll have an indoor soccer field, an indoor basketball court. Kids can come after school. We're going to have a homework help area where kids can come after school to get help with math, science, reading, English, um, any, any areas that kids are struggling in school. Um, there's just so many things we can do here at the 210 Youth Center just to show the love of Christ and show kids that they're really cared about and that they're loved. So our hope is, again, just to show them the love of Christ and to fill some, some physical needs they have of, of exercise and, and just being able to, to partner with adults that are believers and be shown the love of Christ. Thank you. I personally just want to thank all the churches that are coming together this fall to give an offering for the House of Hope 210 Youth Center. Uh, it's been amazing to watch God bring this all together and the plans that he has for this place on this site is going to be unbelievable. The thing that gets me most excited is that this is so much bigger than one person or one church or one community can do. This is a God thing, so it's going to take all of us. So we just want to thank all of you, all the churches that are coming together right from the beginning to give this fall toward this youth center. We look forward to what God is going to do. He has great things in store and can't wait to watch all of this come together in his plan and his time.